Right now we have a huge difference in prices in our MLS between the most expensive property and the least expensive property. In the 80s, there was an entrepreneur that wanted to build his dream property on an island in the middle of Flathead Lake, and unfortunately he passed away before it was finished. Now, that is the most expensive listing we have, so since we can't go tour it in person, let's go back to my computer and take a look. Okay, let's start out by taking a look at the most expensive place on our MLS and the most expensive place in the entire state of Montana. This is Cromwell Island and it is listed at $72 million. The listing agent is Bill McDavid from Hall & Hall. And this place only shows that it's two bedrooms and two bathrooms, but 45,000 square feet. And that's because the main house, the huge house, isn't even finished. I'll show you the pictures here in a minute. There is a guest house that is finished. So Cromwell Island is kind of a cool spot. It's on Flathead Lake down in the southwest corner of the lake and Highway 93 runs right behind it. If you can see over here, you can kind of see it run along there. If we look at the photos here, there's obviously it's an island so the only way you can get there is with a boat. So here's the dock that can get you out there some overhead drone photos but here you can see the main house and the main house kind of points out at the lake looking to the east so the highway is back on the other side so you never have any noise from here which obviously was planned but what's incredible is this house this huge house that they built isn't even finished inside as you can see here so there's <laughs> Talk about a fixer-upper, there's a little bit of work to do here. But the island itself is 348 acres, and if you were to walk all the way around it, it's three miles of shoreline. And the two bedrooms and two baths that they listed are for this guest house, which is finished, so you would have a place to live right now. Uh, but just kind of a one-of-a-kind, obviously, property. Right now, the taxes on it are $31,000. There was another island that sold back in, I think, 2016 that had a finished house on it, and that island was only 22 acres, and the finished house on that one was 18,000 square feet, but the taxes on that one, because it was finished, were 287000 So this 31000 a year on this place seems pretty low but it's because the house isn't finished and if you watch some of my videos on the taxes here the taxes are based on you know what the property's worth you know finish off so this house when it is finished the taxes will go up immensely so if you're thinking about buying this place and getting a loan on it i just went to the mortgage calculator just to kind of get a feel for what that would be if you took out the full loan for 72 million dollars and with the current rates here in Montana your monthly payment would be four hundred and seventy thousand eight hundred twenty six dollars and this is before taxes and insurance and everything else so once you finish this place off like I said it's going to go up immensely so kind of interesting to take a look at this place, show you what's available here for $72 million. If you're looking to save $71,950,000, let's take a look at the least expensive house on our MLS. So this house is currently the cheapest house on our entire MLS, and it's listed at $50,000. And the listing agent is Riley Lind out of EXP in Great Falls. And I did a video on this last year, actually. If you want to go check it out, I'll put it up here on the screen. You can just go back in my channel and find it. But So if you watch that video, I showed the whole drive over to Conrad. And Conrad is located on the east side of the mountains from Flathead Lake. And here you can see it right here. Over here is where the Cromwell Island is. And then you got Conrad right here just off of I-15. And if again, if you watch the video I did last year, I kind of tour the town, show, show you everything about it. But it's a nice little farming town. It kind of reminds me of the town I grew up in very agricultural based but back to the house this house is four bedrooms two bath 1631 square feet clearly a fixer-upper like 
<laughs> as is the one on Cromwell Island, uh, but for a much cheaper price. So when I toured this house, uh, I went around and showed it in a lot more uh, detail, but it definitely needs work. But for $50,000, you know, the, <laughs> it definitely could pencil out if you did the work. And the taxes on this house are $251 a year, so much less than the Cromwell Island place. So I did the math on this one, the mortgage calculator. If you put $5,000 down, which is 10%, and then you borrow $45,000, your payment on that is only going to be $317 a month. So I can't imagine that if you put money into this place, fix it up a little bit, turn it into a rental, that you're not going to get your money back as a rental property. Uh, because I did look at the rentals around the area, and you can't really find anything for under $1,200 a month. If you're looking at the income potential of this place, it's quite large. I have not done an inspection on it. Obviously, if you were to buy a place like this, you'd want to do an inspection and see just how much money would need to go into it right now. Clearly the roof needs work and as we looked in the inside there's there's work to be done all over but I thought it'd be interesting to give you a little taste of the price differences that we have here in Montana right now when you go from 72 million down to 50,000. If you would like more information on the most expensive property or the least expensive property or any of them in between, let us know and we'll be happy to send it out to you. Thank you for watching our video. Please call, text, or email for more information. And don't forget to watch our other videos about Montana.